Now on Paraview TV, our exclusive interview with Angelina Jolie and the work that shifted her consciousness. I started to travel a lot a few years ago, and I started to realize that there was so much that I didn't know about the world and came, came in contact with refugees, people who had returned from being refugees, and I was just trying to put pieces together and start to understand better the world I lived in. And I came home, and I was in L.A., and one night I called somebody I knew who worked at different humanitarian uh, causes, and I said, could you send me everything you have? I'm very interested in the U.N., and, and they sent me brochures and books and things, and, and, uh, and I just sat up for a few nights just reading through everything, and then I got to the refugee section and, and I sat there and said 20 million people um, are refugees today. How is that possible? And I've never heard of that. I called Washington and I asked if I could start traveling, if I could come to Washington and learn and they let me come up and started to teach me and we agreed that no cameras would come, no press would know and I would just start to uh, get an education. And so uh, a month later I was in Sierra Leone. UNHCR is the UN High Commission for Refugees. Uh, it started after World War II. And um, they, they're a protection agency. When there's war and persecution and mass people fleeing from one country and crossing into another border, they need protection when they get there. They need some people to be there. They need some people to negotiate with the, both countries, to negotiate a safe place, to negotiate the type of housing they can have, how long they can stay there. And this is in some areas like Tanzania today, 500,000 people. And then, and then UNICEF and people organizations that people are very familiar with um, often work inside the camp. Somebody told me before I went into the field for the first time, they said, you're going to change and you're going to learn a lot and you're not going to be able to maybe express to your husband or your mother um, what's happened to you inside and you may not want to talk about it. So, suggestion, keep a journal and then you can hand them that journal and they can know where you've been. There's so many moments, one thing after another, but this, the strongest memory I have, which is the hardest for me to talk about, was somebody came running and said, can you come look at this kid? And, and he'd, um, he'd been, been, they say he'd been shot, that it had affected his spine and it had, suddenly his legs were um, not working anymore and he was slowly deteriorating. And he had been just released from a medical center because in that part of the world, in that, during that situation, that's not uh, the most severe that he's going to slowly die and other people were dying immediately or um, and he was about 12 and I had that moment of you know I should airlift him out I should save him I should do something but I can't save everybody and there are 20 million people and there are all these things going on and it's a bigger problem I've seen so many kids in every in every country I've gone to really there are all the, there are a lot of kids on their own and you sit with them and you talk with them and they and they want to focus on they want to go back to their country they want to become doctors or lawyers they want to become architects and rebuild they don't complain about anything, and they are, they're so loving, and they're so tough. Then they've taught me a hell of a lot. Most of these people, you ask them, and they're, they're resolved with what they have, and they want to work towards making it better themselves, and they've taken that responsibility. And they're able to, to rise above it and laugh and kind of see the world in a bigger picture. I wasn't very proud of who I was. Not that I was a bad person. I just didn't feel, I didn't wake up with a sense of purpose and being useful. Um, and, and I didn't know what, what I was fighting for or believing. Certainly when I, when I discovered these things about the world, I found, I found that I really uh, deeply connected to, this, to these issues and I'm and, 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 and sure that I will be focusing on these issues forever until the day I die. I dream about seeing things change for the better now. I used to dream about things more for myself. And, and now I dream for others. And it's a better way to dream. For more shifts in consciousness, log on to ParaviewTV.com.